Hey guys, Chang'e used to be one of my favorite mages of all time. When I used to play a lot, at some point, I was the top one global Chang'e. So it's a little bit more heartbreaking when you lose with some of your favorite heroes. Anyway, in this match, we're going to have a very intense show match between Chang'e and Brody. Their Brody is going to be absolutely dominating in the early to mid game. And I will have to try to upset the balance by pulling some crazy outplays here and there. At level 1, Shango definitely has the advantage over Vexana, so I will take full use of it and harass her as much as possible. If I was a jungler in this situation and I saw the opponent use his retribution the lethal, I will 100% go to his other buff and steal it from him. In very high rank lobbies and full of decent players, they won't let this chance slip. Their marksman already had a head start. I was hoping we could get him here to at least delay his farm a little bit. Well. Vexana becomes pretty useless once she already used her ult and you can sidestep her first skill. Seeing their jungle recalling, that means I have the green light to steal their buff. Fine, the jungler can take it, but to be honest, I had a feeling our younger player wasn't the experience in that role yet. Their Brody was having a field day in the top lane though. I want to gank his lane, but for that I need some support from either a jungler or tank. Unfortunately Chang'e cannot solo kill him. Guide me. Minotaur died without even ulting. Brody is getting out of hand. Oof. Tinius got a lot more interesting. I know that Vexana doesn't have ult, and Belleric has no mana to do almost anything. I have no reason to be worried here at all. You might think my aim is totally off here but I was really trying to predict Vexana's movement. Now I just gotta dodge her first skill. We really gotta do something about this Brody though. 
Luckily our tank and jungler are finally coming top as well. The worst thing that could have happened, just happened. Although I really thought my allies were gonna be there as well, I gotta admit, I played that one pretty poorly as well. But before we continue with this match, I want to quickly show you what happened in the previous match so you will have a better understanding of my mentality going to this game. In the previous match, I was doing pretty well as well right from the start. I ganked the offlane super early on, catching him by surprise. But just like the other game, my allies were getting poop on here as well. One of Chang'un's main strengths is her ability to steal the opponent's buff, so I always try to take advantage of it. I was wondering where Sass went. I even tried to block his escape route. <laughs> so this is where he went. I kept ganking non-stop. My eyes were losing hard though. I had to do something and fast. Kling was saying this, but he was using a rival as his spell, sad face. Even though I was super low, I still had my ult, so I wanted to clear the way first and not let him get this third for free. I have to be very careful though. We are winning some team fights here and there, but I knew that if this ever got to the late game, our chance of winning this would decrease dramatically. A single wrong move from our marksman jungler and they won't be able to escape. I kept stealing their buff. I was really trying my best to keep the momentum going, but the game just kept going back and forth.
if only our clean was using Flicker instead of Arrival. Things were very intense to say the least. It seems that like we're gonna win this one. But then this happened. We really had to focus on their marksman first and nobody else. Especially our gato has too many focuses old on her. But unfortunately, that never happened, and we ended up losing this match. Not gonna lie, it was quite a depressing loss since I was doing pretty decently throughout the game. Anyway, now you know how I was mentally in the next match. I really didn't want to lose another Chango match, so I decided to step up my game and not let history repeat itself. But things were looking dicey, because at this point, Brody has 7 kills and 0 death. He was super fed already. We finally got him. We had a huge victory here, but we are still quite behind at this point. As you can see on the map, we haven't destroyed a single enemy's turret. After the recent nerf from Vexana, it does seems like it's a lot easier to dodge her skills, especially her stone. By the way, do you notice? I just got his buff, smiley face. Not 
their brody was indeed playing a lot more recklessly. But still, each time he dies, we lose a lot of members as well. This is pretty much a showdown between Chang'e and Brody. Here you can see that I'm gonna stay close to the upper bush because this is where my allies are. I'm basically trying to see who will take the bait. Holy cow, that was close. I also misclick and cancel my ult. For some reason, this marksman totally forgot about one of the key things to remember when playing the marksman role, and that is positioning, and of course map awareness. Brody have been trying really hard to get me in the past few minutes. Every time I can keep wasting their flicker like this, it is still a pretty significant win. Iritha was pushing bot, I wanted to see if I could stop some of the recalls while not dying at the same time. But since I didn't see the younger Harith, I had a feeling it was already too late and he was recalling already. I actually forgot about the Lord. We should push now, since most of them are dead. Honestly, we probably could have ended this already if we all had decided to push instead of taking the Lord. But it is what it is. If only our marksman would take advantage of my ult and attack the inhibitor while the opponents are running away from my ult. Somehow I managed to attract two of them to defend here instead of their base. Interesting. And that's a wrap. After a nerf on Radiant Armor, I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on Chang'o. Anyway, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. 
See ya.